On Italy's east coast, British artillerymen prepare to take Orsogna, an enemy held town important to the Allies, as the 5th and 8th Armies drive toward Rome. Officers plot the direction of fire. The barrage begins. Supporting airfield, the 99th United States Fighter Squadron, attached to the 8th Army, is composed entirely of Negro pilots. Veterans of 236 missions in Africa, the Mediterranean, and Italy, men of the 99th have a brilliant record for the six months they've been operating overseas. Now they take off to aid ground forces advancing on Orsonia. Central Front, observers guide the American cannonading of Nazi forces in and around San Pietro. Massing mortars and tanks, the Americans hurl a concentrated and devastating fire upon this center of enemy resistance. The American entry into San Pietro. Buildings are searched for booby traps left by the enemy. Nazi planes sweep back over San Pietro in a last show of resistance. An American soldier, nearly buried alive by one of the bombs, is dug out safe and unharmed. Others, many of them civilians, are not so fortunate. This is the real tragedy of war. Slaughtered child and grief-stricken mother, innocent victims of Nazi bombs. Today, townspeople see some of their own troops fighting with the Allies. Over muddy mountain trails too rough to be called roads, the rugged jeep can go just so far. Here, supplies must go up by mule pack and by manpower. On military maps, this is Hill 907. But to the American soldier plodding forward mile by mile, this is one of the most difficult campaigns of the war.